Hey what's up guys it's Vanu here from Android.com So here I have the very first developer beta of iOS 14 up and running on my iPhone and in this video I'm gonna be digging deep into iOS 14 and let me share with you the new features that Apple has implemented here with iOS 14. In case you guys are looking for a recap of WWDC 2020 I already have a video on that. You can find a link for that down below in the description as well as a card right here in case you want to check that out. So if you are new to my channel, smash that subscribe button right now and let's explore iOS 14. First things first, these are all the devices that are compatible with iOS 14 and these devices will be getting the final update in the fall. Some people actually ask me why they are not seeing the iOS 14 update. Uh, that's because you actually need an Apple developer account in order to receive this update and you have to actually pay to be a registered developer with Apple. So uh, there are a few ways that you can get it for free as well, but I'm not gonna be recommending any of that to you guys because uh, those are all unofficial ways. So Google is your friend in case you want to get that done that way. But I highly encourage you to wait until July in case you don't have a developer account because Apple will be releasing the public betas in July so that you guys can easily get it up and running using that if you really want to try iOS before anyone else. So finally, if you don't want uh, buggy software on your device, then you can stay till the fall and the final update will be unveiled. Then stay tuned right here on Android Dollar if you want to know the exact date that Apple will push that software update because I'll be bringing you guys a video on that right here in my channel. So smash that subscribe button right now in order to get that update. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and start talking about iOS 14 first with the most important update for a lot of people, the introduction of widgets on the home page. So in order to get the widgets, you have to just press and hold on an empty area like this and then you can go ahead and hit on this plus button at the top and now you will see all the widgets that are available to you. So uh, you can go ahead and uh, add these widgets and uh, the best part is some of these widgets have different different sizes. So for an example, this battery widget, I can um, add it in this bigger size or the medium size or the small size. So let's say I want to add the big one. Now, in case you notice, now when I add, added that widget, automatically all the icons that were on this page shifted to this page. And let's say I want to remove this widget. If I remove it, all those icons will now come back into the place that they were before. And something to note here is that with iOS 14, you can't actually place this at the center or towards the exact location that you want with like with Android. Uh, but you can only place it to either the right or left side of the screen. You can't place it in between. Hopefully uh, that will change later on down the line. So I'm actually glad that Apple finally introduced these widgets on the home screen rather than continuing with the same icons on the home screen because this is the layout that we had uh, forever and uh, now the best part is if you love widgets and if you want to fill up your entire screen just with widgets you can also do that now with uh, iOS 14 so let me quickly add this uh, battery widget uh, onto my first page and show you guys how that is possible so just like this I can just have my first page uh, filled with widgets and it's up to you what widgets you want to use and if you want to get rid of a widget It's pretty easy. You can go ahead and hit on remove widget to get rid of that widget as well Something that's also new to widgets on iOS 14 that I personally think Google should also implement is smart stacks So basically if you want to create a smart stack You can either go ahead and hit on this plus button and add a smart stack from over here So I actually have a smart stack right over here so this is a smart stack a smart stack is basically a collection of widgets so this right here has the calendar the weather the maps reminders and music all in one place and uh, the cool part here is let's say you want to create your own smart stack you can go ahead and drag and drop widgets on top of each other and just like that I was able to create a smart stack with weather as well as stocks 
So let's say whatever smart stack that you have, you can go ahead and reorder the uh, the the order of the applications that will appear, as well as you can enable or disable smart rotate. So if you actually enable this automatically throughout the day, the widgets will cycle through based on your needs. That's uh, what Apple uh, actually explained during the keynote. So uh, that's smart stacks, and I'm really looking forward to use that in the future with iOS 14. And I'm sure you can also get use of uh, all these widgets on the today view section on the left hand side. You can also add widgets over here so you can go to edit uh, view and then you can go ahead and add any widget over to this screen as well. So right now we only have first party widgets from Apple, but I really can't wait to see third party widgets support here hopefully we'll get some cool ones uh, so that we can make the maximum out of our iphones now by not only having icons on the home screen but with widgets the next new thing on ios is the app library and this is basically a app drawer for all of our applications so now what's new here is all of these icons are going to be automatically categorized into whatever sections that they belong to and uh, let's say you want to get into an application let's say you want to get into settings all you have to do is just hit on the settings button it's not basically like a folder so if you want to quickly get into something you can uh, hit on that icon but if you want to uh, expand that folder you can go ahead and hit on this icon over here and that utilities folder will be opening up like this so or else if you want to see the entertainment stuff you can hit on it and all the entertainment stuff will open up like that and also there's an alphabetized list of all the applications here available on ios 14 in the app library so basically uh, this is quite similar to what we saw with action launcher on android uh, it's one of my favorite launches i've actually even made videos on that here in my channel so um, it's uh, nice that we have this list and also don't forget that you can always go ahead and search for whatever application you want uh, by just dragging uh, down on the home screen and get whatever application you want that way as well another new thing this time around is now if you go to the edit view of the home screen and if you go ahead and hit on this down button over here you can actually see a overview of all the pages that are available on your device screen and you can go ahead and and actually hide screens entirely if you want so i have this entire page filled with apple applications so if i just go ahead and remove that now all of the uh, apple icons will be disappeared from the home screen so basically right now i don't have all of that it's now hidden in the app library so every time i want access to any of that i can still find it over here so that's pretty cool however something that i didn't like uh, that hopefully apple can improve in the developer beta moving forward is the fact that that they still don't let us um, order the pages the way we want i hope that apple can add the functionality to allow us to uh, move the pages to the place that we want uh, without much trouble also something new this time is like let's say you want to get rid of application now instead of delete it says remove application and if you hit on remove application you get two options one is to add the um, add that particular app to the app library so basically that's hiding that application or you have the option to delete that application from over here so those are the cool stuff with the home screen on ios 14 and now uh, let me share with you another cool thing with ios 14 and that is the change that is coming to siri so now if i go ahead and open up siri as you guys can see now siri is not taking up the entire screen anymore so that's pretty cool so uh, if i want to um, ask siri for something like for an example i can ask for the weather what's the weather weather for where Sri Lanka. It's currently partly cloudy and 29 degrees in Colombo, Sri Lanka. So uh, just like that, we can see a pop up with all the information at the top and it's not taking the entire screen like it used to before. And that's definitely a welcome, a welcome change uh, on iOS 14 with Siri. And Siri is now smarter. And like I mentioned in my WWDC 2020 video, uh, Siri now has more facts and it's more intelligent so should be able to answer more questions moving forward so that's pretty cool. Another thing that I'm personally excited for is the update to the, the call window that we are going to see. So basically if I make a call to my phone right now, so let me show you guys that right now. So if I place a call, 
when I get the call, actually I won't be seeing the call on the entire screen. So I will see this type of pop-up at the top and basically uh, I can go ahead and answer the call, reject the call or I can go ahead and easily dismiss the call just like that. My work won't be interrupted, I can just go ahead and ignore the call if I want. With iOS 14, there are also visual changes here and there. For an example, if you go into the phone section and if you select a contact, uh, if you can see all these UI elements here are slightly updated on iOS 14 and uh, also if you go into the settings area you will see a few new options that are available here so like the home screen settings are now new here so you have the option to uh, actually add the new application downloads automatically to the app library without adding them to the home screen as well and uh, you can also show the notification badges on the app library from the settings that are available available there and also now going into the wallpaper options that are available with iOS 14 going into sales we have three new wallpaper options that are available here that look pretty cool both of these wall the, all three of these wallpapers actually have uh, dark mode support as well so you can go ahead and set your favorite wallpaper from over here on iOS 14 right here on your iPhone so um, something that's also new with iOS 14 is the translation application here so basically this is something similar to Google Translate that Apple is making into iOS itself so basically you can go ahead and get uh, get whatever you say translated automatically into these languages however Singhala language support is not available at the moment hopefully that will be added in a future release so I can go ahead and say something like Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Suscríbete a mi canal para más videos como este. So that's how I got it translated into Spanish but there are other languages that I can pick from as well so if I want to get it translated to French I can select that and get it translated. Subscribe now. Abonnez-vous maintenant. So just like that it uh, works really well so you can go ahead and give it a shot as well once you get ios 14 on your device uh, so now also get it going back into the settings area something cool that i also identified with ios 14 is the updates to the accessibility section so if you go into accessibility and if you go into touch you can actually go down into something called back tap that is now new and I have right now uh, set the double tap action and triple tap action uh, to uh, perform certain actions so the double tap action is actually set to uh, lock the screen and the triple tap action is set to take a screenshot so now, now let me quickly demo that to you guys so now if all I have to do is I have to just go ahead and hit on the back of the phone so like this if I go ahead and double tap the phone will get locked and also if I go ahead and triple tap just like that a screenshot was captured uh, with the new backtrack uh, functionality that is baked into iOS 14 pretty cool uh, pretty cool function that can be used to uh, get a lot of stuff done another thing that's new here in accessibility settings is if you go down you will find something called sound recognition that you can turn on and uh, if you turn it on you can go into this sound section and you can actually enable different sounds like the dog sound or the cat sound or you can enable household appliances sounds or babies crying shouting and all, all of those sounds so i've uh, set different different sounds and uh, whenever the phone detects uh, whatever the uh, sound that is it will actually show a pop-up another thing new with ios 14 is picture in picture mode so actually you can find the setting for that if you go into general and here we have the setting for picture in picture make sure that it is enabled uh, before you try picture in picture so let's say you go ahead and play whatever video so when the video starts playing you actually get the option to move into picture in picture mode so this is the option for that so you can go ahead and hit on the picture in picture option and now we are right now in the picture in picture mode so you can go ahead and reduce the size of the video or you can increase the size of the video and if you just hit on the screen you can actually pause the video without actually opening it up and you can skip it as well you can go um, forward 15 seconds or back 15 seconds 
and uh, the most cool part i think is you can just go ahead and just slide the video out of the screen and the audio will continue to play so that's awesome so you can get whatever work you want done and still uh, retain the video you can just go ahead and drag it into the screen like this and place it in whatever location that you want and once you're done with it you can either go ahead and close it from here or you can expand it into the full screen view so that's something pretty cool that apple has baked into uh, videos for multitasking that is true multitasking coming to ios 14 and you can also use that for facetime calls i really hope they can also bake it into whatsapp video calls on the iphone so uh, we'll have to wait for third party application support uh, once ios 14 is publicly available for everyone i think we will start to see most of those changes rolling out to even third party applications with ios 14 we also get some updates to messages so right now uh, you can go ahead and pin conversations as well as have different group chats uh, that are getting major improvements and also memoji gets uh, better with ios 14 and we are now having more options for memojis as well you can even uh, put a mask uh, uh, to your memoji now and there are other cool little stuff that are baked into ios 14 so dig deep and i'm sure you're gonna find more and more awesome stuff baked into ios 14 here and there Another cool thing with iOS 14 is Apple is going to show you every time it actually opens up the camera. So now when the camera is open, you'll actually see a green color light over here. And whenever a microphone or camera is in use, uh, you will see a light over here on the side. So that's uh, pretty neat. With iOS 14, even the music player gets a slight update here. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, see the difference over here. So other than those things, there are also some uh, neat little changes that are packed into iOS 14. So if you end up uh, installing the iOS 14 developer beta, definitely make sure to use this feedback application to provide support to Apple, provide feedback to Apple to uh, actually make uh, iOS 14 a better release. Right now, I actually spotted a few bugs and I uh, was able to report the feedback to Apple. Hopefully, they'll be able to fix that. One of the main uh, bugs that I identified was the uh, was that the photo uh, widget doesn't work at the moment uh, no matter what i do and some of these widgets don't really work sometimes you have to restart your phone to get that done however this beta overall has been quite stable for me so uh, i think i might be able to even daily drive this on my device if i really wanted to so that's something really good uh, hopefully that will continue to be the case uh, moving forward as well with uh, ios 14 so i'll keep you guys updated let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comment section or anything in specific you guys want a video on so that i can make that happen for you guys I've already installed macOS Big Sur onto my Mac as well. Let me know if you guys would like to see a dedicated video on that. If enough people request it, I will also make that happen for you guys. With all of that being said, go ahead and check out my WWDC 2020 recap video in case you guys haven't checked out that already. I will bring you guys more coverage on uh, the stuff that you guys are requesting. So go ahead and let me know what you guys want to see here in the channel. Follow me on social media. That's where you can connect with me. I am at Andrew Dollar all the links are given down below in the description and stay tuned to android.com for all the latest from the tech world until i see you guys in my next video this is baru signing out